There's a photograph of the bed, our bed, and on my side of the bed was human fecal matter. Man, when he said human fecal matter on the stand, that was the funniest thing I ever heard in my life. Actually, Jack, <laughs> Jack, that's in Jack Sparrow down real bad. Down real bad. Damn. You see how nutty she is? Now, let me say this, bro, because people don't want to believe you. There's a lot more women out there like that. They just don't get the press because they're not yes. popular. Yes. She is a nutty. And I've, I've dated women that were nutty like that. A complete nut job. And they're abusive. Now, ain't nobody physically abusing me, but psychologically abusive. It, it, I, I have, I've seen women like that. There's so many women that do men like that. They abuse them. They, yep. cra they're crazy. They're manipulative. You know, they get you. They make you feel bad. You don't love me. That's why you're like, baby, I do love you. Like, what, what's the problem? with? And there's something going on in their mind. You, I remember I had it. I ain't going to say who it was. I had a girl, we were, we were finna be serious, right? We're gonna move together, we're gonna do everything. This is when I was a little younger. And I remember we were having such, we were finna move, we had all these plans. I'm on the phone with her. She go, I know you wanna be with that girl. And I'm like, wait a minute, what are you saying right now? We supposed to be moving together, you yeah. supposed to get a job out here. I wanna be what girl? That girl that you, that go to that church. So it was my friend started a church and there was a girl that I knew from eighth grade that went to that church and we were friends. And so I wanted to go to church. I forgot the girl went to the church. I wanted to go to his church because I because he was my friend. She knew I wanted to go to church and she go, you want to be with that girl? I didn't even know what she was talking about. Just chaotic, man. Yeah, that right Some there. Some people are like that. It's tumultuous. Yeah, yeah. always stirring some up. I had a, uh, a buddy of mine, his girl would talk down to him in front of everybody, be a house full of people. And she's, what are you, stupid? You dumb, you know, MF, I mean, dog him out in front of everybody. A couple of times I left because it was just too awkward. But I don't know. And, but if it was a man, if it was Johnny, if she's up there on the stand crying, say Johnny Depp squared off with her and punched her in the side of the face in their bedroom, it'd be a totally different, uh, totally different feel to the whole story. But because she's a woman, you know, where the feminists, where the feminists saying she should get the same penalty that Johnny Depp would if he punched her in the face and all them rings and bracelets Johnny Depp got on, you know, that was going to do some damage. But is it equality or not? Because if it's equality, this woman should be underneath the jail, because if a man whooped his wife's butt like that, that's what we would expect him to be. But it to hear, I don't know if it's his voice or what, but to hear Johnny Depp explain what happened. It sounds funny, man. It's hilarious. Her, her face while he's telling the stories, I mean, it it's just it's crazy. I don't know if it's because he's, you know, real slow, like, really, you know, very calm and uh, monotone voice, but when he was talking about how she took a dump in the bed, I mean, <laughs> bruh, why didn't you while she's doing that, why didn't you have your suitcase open, not even folding, just throwing your stuff in it, closing it, and getting the hell up out of there? Because you can't be doing it. Well, she she yeah, 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 have to be. Have to be. That's that's the problem. I mean, like, I mean, he forgot he's Johnny Depp. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, that's just what. It How is. do you forget that? I think I it's mean, the drugs. I think he was so on the drugs, and she was taking advantage of his weakness. Like he he was weak, and hey. she, and he was the, she probably was the only person that he felt like would love him or at least give him something when he was so such a broken dude on them drugs like that. I mean, I think. <laughs> Can she we call that up. a red flag when she takes a dump in the bed? I think well, so. he wasn't there. He wasn't there when she dumped the bed. But Wait, if you if you come back and discover the the dude was in the bed, no, no, no. I, I, what happened was his friend. He was finna. Go, they had this big breakup. He was finna go back home, but his friend or somebody that worked for him or something went to the house first to see if she was there or something like that. And then the dude saw the dump on the bed, and so he checks Johnny Depp the picture of it and he's like, "Hey, bro, don't come back home because." This ain't right, bro. And and Johnny <laughs> Depp see the text message and he see the doo-doo on his bed. Bro, that's it. There's a photograph of the bed, our bed. Um, and on my side of the bed, um was human fecal matter. Um so I understood why. 
it wasn't a good time to go down there. Um, my initial response to that was, I mean, I laughed. I, I, there, it was so outside. It was so bizarre and so grotesque that I could only laugh. <laughs> Let's see, we have nothing else to talk about because you took a duke in the bed. It's over. You're crazy. You are insane. It's over. She pulled yeah, Elon Musk, though. She pulled, pulled Elon Musk. Used to sheets. Huh? She put, she put, he said, she, Greg said she put Elon Musk. What were you saying, Greg? I mean, she put Elon Musk, so she must got something going on that's hypnotizing these guys, man. She, she probably fine. I mean, I, she looked crazy to me that's now. I, mean, I know all this stuff, but she probably that's she, fine. Bro, she got the magic box, man. That's she, what it is. She, it ain't that know. magic. <laughs> look, man, look, man. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know if there's any magic in the world to overlook that one. Let me, let me tell you this. When you're a billionaire like Elon Musk, and he don't seem to be very charismatic. You know, now he's coming out of his bubble a little bit. He seemed to be an awkward dude. And he don't seem to be flashy. So women will look at him and they'll think he's a goofy college dude. They don't understand he's a billionaire. And so he may get passed by all these women. But she put that thing on him. And now he, you know, he, 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 she giving him play that probably most women wouldn't give him. And she, and she probably good looking. I don't know. I, I can't see enough of it. She just got the stuff wrapped. She looked like a lunatic. But Pooping in the bed, bro. You gotta be super manipulative. Deal breaker. That's strike one, two, and three, all in one. 